What's up you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my version of Chili Colorado. All the ingredients for this batch are going to be in the description below, so stay tuned. First you want to take your cast iron, skillet, set on medium high heat, throw in your chili de California, the edible, your cinnamon sticks, your canela, your tomatoes and onions. Sear them on all sides, don't let them burn. You put it into a blender, throw in your garlic, you can use minced garlic, chopped garlic, whatever you want. Throw it in the blender until it's smooth. And you preheat your instant pot to high on saute. Throw in some olive oil in there to bind to the meat that you pre-season with some salt and pepper and garlic powder. Here I got three and a half pounds of tri-tip steak. This part here might take about 10 to 15 minutes until the uh, meat gets seared on both sides. In the meantime, I pre-chopped up some red bell peppers and onions. I'm going to throw that in with the sauce afterwards and then you'll see how it turns out. And on a side dish, I also have bay leaves, Mexican cumin, and oregano, and a few cloves. So here you have the option to let the meat saute really well on one side or on both sides. It's really up to you. Everyone has a preference. I like it to, to see on one side so it gets real crispy, but then the other side is real tender, all right, but not you know, crispy as well. Then once you pick a desired consistency for the meat, you take that out, then throw in your red bell peppers and your onions. And you're gonna wanna stir them around until they uh, become translucent. And so this way it'll unlock the sweetness from the onion and the red bell pepper. And then you're gonna wanna throw in the rest of the meat and sauce. As well as your other aromatics like the bay leaves and cumin and oregano and cloves. Ideally, with most stews, ask anyone, you typically want to pour enough water, broth, or sauce to at least cover the meat because the meat's going to absorb some of it in the meantime. So here, throw in a little bit of water just to absorb all the extra sauce. Give it a good stir. You're going to want to set the Instant Pot on high for 45 minutes. After the 45 minutes are up, you want to check on your meat. As you can see here, the meat looks very tender, juicy, has all the flavor in it. It's ready to be served with some rice. Right here, I'm serving it with five ounces of the chili colorado with about an ounce and a half of the broth. Here's being served with uh, one cup of rice. Uh, typically, this can be served with tacos, in a burrito, in a wrap, anything. You know, it's really good. Give this recipe a try and let me know what you guys think. Alright, till next time. Peace.